Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Blood Transfusion Introduction Blood transfusions can save lives. Every second, someone in the world needs a blood transfusion. You may need a blood transfusion if you have anemia or an injury that resulted in blood loss. Sometimes, blood transfusions can replace blood lost during surgery. Blood transfusions can also help people with certain illnesses. This program will help you better understand what a blood transfusion is, what to expect during the procedure, and what the risks of a transfusion are. Blood Types Blood plays an important role in your body. It moves oxygen and important nutrients to your organs and tissues. You need a healthy supply of blood for your overall health. Blood contains different types of cells floating in plasma. Plasma is mostly water with some chemicals. These chemicals include cholesterol, proteins, hormones, minerals, vitamins, and sugar. Sugar is also called glucose. There are three types of blood cells. Red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. You may have heard of blood types or groups such as blood group A, B, AB, or O. Both A and B stand for a certain protein that is found on red blood cells. People who have the A protein have type A blood. Those who have the B protein have type B blood. Those who have both the A and B protein have type AB blood. People with neither protein have type O blood. Another protein found on some red blood cells is the RH or rhesus protein. People with this protein are called RH positive. Those without this protein are RH negative. The plus and minus signs are used to write positive and negative. Each one of the A, B, AB, and O blood groups can be either RH positive or negative. This means there are eight different factors that form the basis for blood types. Here are the eight blood types. O negative, O positive, A negative, A positive, B negative, B positive, AB negative, AB positive. Blood types matter when a person needs a blood transfusion. Getting the wrong type of blood can cause a transfusion reaction, making the person sick or causing death. People with type O blood are called universal donors. This is because type O blood is safe for most people. Almost 40% of the population has type O blood. During an emergency, when there is no time to check the person's blood type, people are often given type O blood. People with type AB blood are called universal recipients. They can receive any type of blood. If you have RH positive blood, you can receive RH positive or RH negative blood. However, if you have RH negative blood, you can only receive RH negative blood. Like type O blood, RH negative blood is used in emergencies when there is no time to test your RH type. Types of blood transfusions the blood used in blood transfusions typically comes from a blood bank. These are places where blood is stored and tested before use. Many countries, including the United States, carefully screen all donated blood for possible problems, such as viruses that could make you sick. If you have a surgery scheduled and you know you may need a blood transfusion, you may be able to use your own blood for a transfusion. This is called an autologous blood transfusion. For an autologous blood transfusion, you will donate blood before the surgery during a couple of visits a few weeks before the operation. Your blood is usually stored in a blood bank. Blood can be used whole or in parts. Sometimes only parts of the blood, like the platelets or red blood cells, are used. Other times, people need transfusions of whole blood that has all its parts. 
Red blood cells deliver oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body. You may need a red blood cell transfusion if you have anemia or an injury that resulted in blood loss. Sometimes, blood transfusions can replace blood lost during surgery. Red blood cell transfusions are the most common type. Anemia happens when you don't have enough healthy red blood cells. A shortage of iron can cause anemia. Certain vitamin deficiencies can also cause diseases that can cause anemia. Platelets help the blood clot so you stop bleeding after a cut or injury. In some diseases, the body does not make enough platelets. You may need a platelet transfusion if you have certain diseases or trouble with clotting. Plasma is the liquid part of blood that contains glucose, cholesterol, proteins, hormones, minerals, and vitamins. You may need a plasma transfusion if you have severe burns, liver failure, or a severe infection. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Alternative treatments. Some medicines help people make more blood cells or help those cells work better. This may reduce the need for blood transfusions. Scientists are looking at ways to make blood in a laboratory. Blood loss during surgery is common. Sometimes blood loss during surgery can be collected and given back to the patient. The person's own blood may be taken out and stored before a planned surgery in case the person needs a blood transfusion. This is called an autologous blood transfusion. Procedure Before the transfusion, a healthcare provider may prick your finger or take blood from your arm to test for blood type. Sometimes, for your safety, a second blood sample will be drawn to confirm your blood type. If you need to make changes to your diet or activities before the transfusion, your healthcare provider will let you know. Usually, blood transfusions are done in a healthcare provider's office or at the healthcare facility. The healthcare provider will insert a needle into your arm or hand. The needle delivers blood through an IV. You will be monitored during the transfusion in case you have any kind of reaction. A blood transfusion usually takes one to four hours, depending on how much blood you need. Before, during, and after the transfusion, your blood pressure, temperature, respiration, and pulse rate will be monitored. They will be taken 15 minutes before transfusion, 15 minutes after the start of transfusion, and at the end of the transfusion. You may need blood tests to make sure your body is not rejecting the blood. Your healthcare provider will give you more information on the signs of complications and what to watch for when you go home. Risks Blood transfusions are safe, but complications can happen. You need to know about them just in case they happen. Your healthcare provider will explain the risks and benefits of a blood transfusion. Ask your healthcare team if you have any questions. You may have an allergic reaction to the blood you are given, even if the blood type matches. Symptoms of an allergic reaction may include anxiety, back pain, chest pain, nausea, trouble breathing. Signs of an allergic reaction can also include fast heartbeat, fever or chills, low blood pressure. Your healthcare provider may prescribe a medication to stop allergic reactions. If you have had an allergic reaction in the past, especially from a blood transfusion, let your healthcare provider know. Sometimes the area where the IV line was placed may be bruised or sore for a few days. Viruses and infectious diseases such as HIV can be passed through blood. In many countries, including the United States, all blood that is used for transfusions goes through a screening process to make sure it is safe. Getting a virus or disease from a blood transfusion is highly unlikely, but possible. White blood cells in the donated blood can cause a fever the day of the transfusion in some people. Preservatives used by blood banks may also give you a fever. This can usually be treated with over-the-counter medications. Iron can build up in your body after many transfusions and cause organ damage. 
This is called iron overload. Lung damage can rarely happen, causing trouble breathing within six hours of the transfusion. Your healthcare team will monitor you closely to identify and treat signs of a transfusion reaction right away. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary You may need a blood transfusion if you have anemia or an injury that resulted in blood loss. Sometimes, blood transfusions can replace blood lost during surgery. Blood transfusions can also help people with certain illnesses. There are eight different factors that form the basis for blood types. Each one of the A, B, AB, and O blood groups can be either RH positive or negative. Getting a type of blood that is not compatible with your type can cause a transfusion reaction and can make you sick or cause death. Usually, blood transfusions are done in a healthcare provider's office or at the healthcare facility. The healthcare provider will insert a needle into your arm or hand. The needle delivers blood through an IV. Sometimes blood loss during surgery can be collected and given back to the patient. The person's own blood may be taken out and stored before a planned surgery in case the person needs a blood transfusion. This is called an ontologous blood transfusion. Viruses and infectious diseases, such as HIV, can be passed through blood. In many countries, including the United States, all blood that is used for transfusions goes through a screening process to make sure it is safe. Your healthcare provider will explain the risks and benefits associated with a blood transfusion. Ask your healthcare team if you have any questions. Thank you for using Explain.